Well, I'll give you what I would consider to be a valid soundscape of a rational mind's connection to modern culture. Mm -hmm. um, it would be something like this. So modern culture comes riding over the hill into the mind of a child, and the child's like, oh, that's kind of shiny, that's kind of pretty. Oh, that's kind of hitty, that's kind of beady. i got to go into what school? Where? What? We're going to sit in this row for how long? Ah, those squeaky noises from the chalkboard are horrifying. I can't take it. Let's get outside, let's get outside, let's get outside. Ah, ah. I'm so bored. I'm so bored. Uh, oh, outside. Yay. Oh, my God. Some, some kid pushed me over. Oh, my face is mashed up against the fence. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody stole my boot. They are throwing my hat around and not letting me catch it because it's a game of monkey in the middle from hell. Oh, no. Oh, home, home, home. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, computers. Oh, what? I got homework? How much homework? <gasps> are you kidding me? I don't want to do that. I want to go outside, play some games, I want to do some fun stuff. Mommy and daddy are busy. Mommy and daddy are busy. No fun, no fun, no fun. And, ah! Oh, I don't want to go to bed. I'm wired from too much computer games because I have no human contact. Oh my God, I woke it up too early. I'm so tired. Oh my, I'm too young to have any coffee and I'm so tired. Oh, and it's raining. Oh man. Oh, here I am back in school. Hey, I love my country. My country is the best. We kill more than others. We kill. We get killed less than others. We love all the blood. <laughs> Yay, we're vampires. Oh, I'm so bored. <laughs> and this goes on and on until the next soundscape you get, which is a whole lot shorter, is something like this. Culture. Ah! Kill it! Kill it where it lives! Call it an airstrike! Nuke it from orbit! Die! 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 Culture! <laughs> Let a meteor come and end the irrationality of the planet! I want to die with a big cosmic faceplant of hell to the head because we barely deserve to live! We're so irrational! So something like that, I think, would be a rational soundscape response to what is modern. And it even bring in, you know, being hit much as a child. I didn't even really bring in religion or anything like that. But something like that to me would be um, somewhat the, appropriate. The, the I could have done that for about an hour and a half, but <laughs> out of respect for the listeners. So the, the, I think that's a more rational response to culture. But go ahead. The day you just described it, you just described me basically. Right? My, my my whole, almost my whole my whole life. It was like that in public schools. So <laughs> tired, so you're, you're exhausted but overstimulated, which is kind of like the worst thing. It's like taking <laughs> someone who's been up for three days, injecting cocaine directly into their dick, and then uh, saying, "Go do a jug and a jig on a hot plate." Right. So it is. Um, it's horrendous, right? So. So when I talked about chronic pain, what I'm saying is that for a rational individual, and that doesn't mean somebody who's always rational, but somebody who's kind of goes for rationality and somebody who, like myself, you know, wanders, <laughs> tiptoes through the daisies into the whirling death blades of cultural resistance, like, oh, I've got a little toy called reason. I'm going to bring it to my fellow man. <laughs> I think they're accidentally shooting at me. I can't imagine why. Look, my friends, I have a present for you. You're going to love this. It's a reason. It's going to make you happy. <gasps> <laughs> totally. And so to be rational and to be in your culture is painful. It's painful it as fuck, right? Culture is like this sequential strap-down mind rape on the conveyor belt that just keeps looping round and round and round and round and round. So emotions, like the physical sensations, we can sort of manage and so on, live healthy and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But we do have a huge problem if we can think and we actually dare to bring rationality to our fellow hominids i mean oh my god you know <laughs> we think we're bringing them a gift like we're you know we're bringing the leprosy cure to a cancer ward they lock the door from the outside and it turns out we're in like 
zombie cave from hell and we're just trying to keep the shreds of our brain from being torn apart by our fellow hominids. So yeah, I can I certainly want... understand why emotions would be a challenge if you don't hugely limit your exposure to the environmental toxin called human irrationality.